Hi dear friend, how are you doing? So uh, I want just to thank you so much for purchasing this pack of uh, videos. So this I highly uh, appreciate uh, this investment that you have made in yourself. And I promise that the value that you will be getting out of this video pack is going to be far bigger than what you will be actually taking normally from uh, YouTube. So I highly appreciate your uh, purchase and I hope that you will be actually uh, upgrading and upscaling your skills to the next level with this video pack that you have got from my coffee shop. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing that we need to do here is, just, I, so actually some t I have forgotten to do something, some things in actually the last episode that was available on YouTube. So, uh, but for you guys, you are special, so uh, you will get something that people on YouTube will not uh, actually get. So we want to first, so this, it is very simple, you can click there and uh, make it dynamic. And for this, so it is uh, actually uh, very simple. So uh we can check it from there we can check it from the uh the the tc or time step and you can actually uh, change the format because you don't want it to be something like this you want it to be something like this so it is relative right so we w i just want to check out if i have done something that is correctly so for this we want to actually create update document the last message and we may want to also actually update not just the message but it's time step or the time when uh, the last message was sent actually so it's gonna be very simple it's gonna be from it is gonna be the current time so at the moment that was actually sent or that button was clicked uh, we're going to take that time and put it inside the TC so it's gonna be like it's gonna be from uh, the global properties current time confirm and it's done so that is very simple so let's move on to the next step so guys, what we are going to be doing in this uh, step is that we are going to be configuring this page. So first thing is going to be this it has to, it is just a very simple uh, thing. It's going to be a navigate back action. Don't worry about that. But the thing is that it is this one. So this is uh, uh, the real work. So for you guys, I will explain this. So uh, because you are special as i told you i will be explaining this so why do you think i have used a stack instead of a row i could have actually used a row and show this if the message was of the authentication user you see it uh, here it appears and show this or show the message in white container if the message was from the other user so i could have done that but for the row you will have some problems right so but the stack should be very uh should be actually the the uh the thing that you should be doing uh, actually is the stack because uh, uh for a row you will have first thing so you will have the first row and you will have the second row and you will uh, so on so it's going to be a little bit complicated because you will be having two of them at the same time but anyway just keep it stack you will see how it works but i highly encourage you guys to not use the stack so I will be because so let me actually explain what I, I meant by not uh, trying this tag. So uh, what it works is this tag. I have used the row and it didn't work. Sorry for this. And uh, what works for me is this tag. Now I will show you why and you actually see it. And I highly recommend you try the row yourself just uh, to have some fun and also uh, explore new stuff and just and actually try to uh, do the exact opposite of what I do so you can learn new things so uh, let's first so first things first so for this green uh, message where you so when you want to see this so but but the first thing to do is that for this you see the list view so we want to first do a backend call so we want to do a so go here and do a backend call right and uh, add the backend query so what we are going to be querying here is a collection right we are going to be querying a lot of uh, messages so we want to query this collection and since it is a sub collection it, we need to uh, give the reference of uh, its uh, uh, its parent and uh, so to do what to do that is to use uh, a page parameter i have already used that and uh, so we have seen that in the last episode that was available on YouTube. You can check it out if you like. 
and that's it so we have done that and it was you see that if we go to the last view so it so you may th say the why it is so it is opposite it is actually reversed right so uh it is reversed this is because i have checked this on it is reversed because no it is from the bottom to up and if it wasn't like that then you see it will be like this so i will keep it like that and this is because this is a message this is a chat app it doesn't have to be like that it have to be so you know how the messages actually work the new ones are usually here on the bottom and the old ones are on the top but if you check it this option so uh sorry because i was actually hiding this so this is what i was talking about it is reverse stuff see uh, you see what's happened and uh, that's it so i want to keep it like this and uh, so this is actually what uh, we need uh, to be doing and now let's do something so here for the auth user message container so this does have to so this is will actually be uh, visible when the message here that you are going to put here is going to be of the authenticated UDC because it is the auth user right so uh but the first thing so for the for the hello world we want to see uh we want to see first we don't want to see hello world we want to open this up and we want to see uh the message right so uh the same goes for this one and we want to see message and uh i want to see message and now when it comes to uh this side where you want to see your messages and the other side where you want to see the other people's messages now we can talk about what we call conditional visibility so this so it doesn't have to always show up it has to show up only if the message here belongs to the user you see because uh, for each message for each one we have a sender id we know who sent that message so we are going to use this field and we are going to see if this was the authentication user then the green one will show up if it wasn't then the the white one will show up so let's talk talk about the green one right so for the green one we have uh, uh, we have actually uh, a condition visibility we will be using a simple condition or a single condition we want to see if the sender of that message if the sender was uh, or the id was equal to the id of the authenticated user so if that was true if uh, truly that message has or the sender of that message was the authentication user so if that was true then the green one will show up on the other hand we are going to see so it is so it is so it is going to be the opposite let's just copy it and reverse it in a way so we're going to apply that go here to answer and paste that variable and just set to not equal if it doesn't equal so which means that the sender of this message was the other uh, part of the of the chat then it has to be shown there right we are going to confirm now we have done a lot of things and this is very good so uh this is actually uh, so this is actually uh, what you need to know so just by this or actually if you understand this simple step then you will never have a problem uh, with uh, actually doing this chat app so because this was the main uh, struggle when making a chat app people don't know how to do that but you see guys it was very easy and very simple to to do and you may want to add like a, a small uh, text here when you are going to be or where you are going to be showing the the time when or when that message was sent so we can do that in the next step if you like so in this step we are going to be actually trying we are going to run a test but let's actually first start with the so we can go to for uh, the, for each container we want to wrap this text inside the column so we can add a very tiny uh, tiny text below it so we can add another text that is going to be very small right so it's going to be very small and uh, it's going to be like uh, so for the font size so this one is 16 so this one has to be 10 uh, something like that 10 12 you know it's and for the column it has to take its children to the other side this has to go to the other side right and for, you can add uh, some padding if you like and so something like that but we don't need a padding on this side neither on the other one we can add five here no five and here you can add five if you like 
so uh, it is very simple so we can actually copy this column we want to just uh, copy it and go here delete this guy and then we can actually paste it here so let's configure this hello world what it has to show up which is the last text so we are going to click here and open up this backend call and go to the tc and this time the date format will change because uh, we don't want to so we want to use this one we just want to see the hour and minute that is it or this one the, you can choose whatever you like so i would choose uh, this one and confirm the same goes for this one so you can go here to this one and go down to the tc and ch choose the format which will be this one confirm and you are good to go so now actually let's actually uh, stop talking and i would like to see that in this app in reality so i would try it so guys we have this error but uh, don't don't be scared because uh, it, it has a null value and this means that uh, uh, something is in this page uh, where we saw the error so some things are null they don't have a value or a de or a default value so for uh, for so because so just i want to tell you that uh, here so uh, what happened is that uh, the last message and also its timestamp were not actually we we, we don't have any message so we can have a last message and it's time that's why uh, photo flow shows up uh, shows actually we have seen that uh, error it's because of uh, of that and there is a thing that you can uh, that you can actually do so you can either give a default value which i don't recommend but i highly recommend you set a condition visibility so you will be saying you will be saying actually that if there is no message then this ha does have to be shown and if there is any message then that has to be shown so we can see that uh, we can use a single uh, uh, we, we can use actually a single uh, condition we can say that if the last message of that chat was uh, actually not empty so which means that if so what is actually means that it is not empty which means that it is it has something inside of it so if the last message has something inside of it then we can see it. the same goes for this one we can say that if uh, if the TC of that chat which is a timestamp of the last message of course was uh, actually so the TC is the for the last message where again so if it was if it is actually not empty so if if it is uh, set right it has to be set it has to be set to something in order to show up there so we don't have that error so let's actually go there here and make an instant reload so we can see those errors so sometimes you may face that you either have the option to use a default value or you can actually use a conditional visibility which i highly recommend so let's just see what what you are going to get anyway and as you can see here guys i don't have that error anymore and uh, since they are empty they are not showing there so now actually let's go and uh, talk with leo so we can go to leo here we can actually uh so this is not working because this is empty by the way i haven't actually showed you how to do that this is very simple so here i have said that uh, we have a disable option here i said that if the image field was empty then if this condition was true then it, should, it then, then this button has to be disabled because we cannot send an empty message so you can do that if you like he's disabled use a simple condition and you will find that so we can say for example hi so we want to so we want to click there we send it you see the time here it is we can see how are you and since we are the authentication user we see it on this side we can send it you see we have sent two messages we said hi how are you doing so uh, this is actually working and so uh, the, the, the this is it actually so I but the problem is that this by the way has to show up in this in this place so we may want to change that uh, back uh, in uh, we want to first to, so you see that this is how are you this is a moment ago everything is working but the problem is uh, in their ordering of these things but uh, the thing that i want to try here is to go to leo and see 
if I can talk back to John, right? This is what I want to actually try it. So we want to try that. Oh no, as you can see here, guys, Leo has already chat with John. You see the messages. And if we went there, those messages that were green previously, now they are in white since uh, uh, Leo is the other user. So they are showing on the other side. We can say, uh, I'm, I'm fine. And we can click here. So we have sent us. So guys, you see that t it is actually not as good as it has to be. So we will just want. So after we have reversed that last view, we still have to do something. But you see, guys, that it is working. The chat, the the stack that I have shown you is working, and uh, we can actually just go back here to this one, and uh, we want to actually go to the message. Go here. As I see this one. And we want just to close this guys and uh, we want to just uh, add uh, our ordering and we are going to be reordering the messages by using their their timestamp so it's gonna be increasing so for the timestamp it is so I don't know with how it's gonna sh look like so let's just try it so for the time for the timestamp it is somehow complicated to actually see the difference between increasing and decreasing uh, does it mean from new to old or old to new but uh, the key here is is to just uh, try it and uh, the results are going to show us uh, what we actually want and now you see that increasing is not working maybe decreasing should could do a good job so that should actually work fine so and it should work so if not this one then the other one we can confirm and it should work and from here guys you see that it has to be decreasing this was the first one then this one then <laughs> this one that we are going to be adding so we want to just have fun why <laughs> so let's just have fun with the, the other people so uh, we can just say why are you asking me and you see that it was cleared so now you see that this is actually guys a chat app so we have actually done a lot of things in this video so i hope i really actually hope that you have learned and i'm not going to say subscribe or whatever because you have actually bought this video so um i hope that you will be actually enjoying the other videos so uh before you move on to the next video make sure you apply and understand what i have shown you in this video and without any further i do see you on the next video